Blog Talk Radio. Franchise interviews from Eastern Pennsylvania to Sydney, Australia. You're listening to Franchise Interviews. Franchise Interviews. Welcome to Franchise Interviews, an up-close, behind-the-scenes look at franchising and entrepreneurship. Listen to interviews with franchisers, franchisees, franchise authors, franchise experts, and attorneys. And now, welcome your host, Marty McDermott, and Franchise Interviews. Hi, everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of Franchise Interviews, where for over 16 years now, we've been asking the franchisepreneurs of one one I'm your host, Marty McDermott. I'm the president of Franchise Interviews, and we have a great show. Well, we're meeting with Total Transport founder and president, Michelle Dacey, and Steve Greenbaum, board member and advisor, to talk more about the brand's important mission and their plans for growth. As a nation's first special needs non-emergency transportation concept, Toodle is committed to providing individuals with temporary or permanent mobility and cognitive challenges with reliable and comfortable rides that they need. And we'll talk to Steve and Michelle about that in just a moment on Franchise Interviews. So stick around because we have a great show. Franchise Teacher. Would you like to know how to franchise your concept? or grow your franchise business. Meet the experts at Franchise Teacher. The goal of Franchise Teacher is to teach, coach, consult, and advise. The team of experts at Franchise Teacher will evaluate your business model and present you with a winning business strategy. Franchise Teacher will help you decide whether or not your concept works and if it's franchisable. Franchise Teacher is proud to have over 30 years of experience in franchising as both franchisees and franchisors. Franchise Teacher are developers of over a dozen franchise systems, which include brick and mortar as well as home based concepts of nearly 3,000 combined franchise locations. Whether you need to add more units or get more customers, Franchise Teacher can help. We will teach. Franchise Teacher will help you learn our proven system. Coach. Franchise Teacher will help you provide a game plan to succeed. Consult. Franchise Teacher will make sure you stay on track. And advise. Franchise Teacher will help you learn from our over 30 years of experience in franchising as both franchisees and franchisors. Take advantage of our free no obligation phone consultation. Simply go to FranchiseTeacher.com or call us at 561-385-3032. That's FranchiseTeacher.com or call us at 561-385-3032. Hi, this is Connie McDermott, Administrative Assistant for Franchise Interviews, LLC, and you're listening to Franchise Interviews. Franchise Interviews, from Eastern Pennsylvania to Sydney, Australia, you're listening to Franchise Interviews. Franchise Interviews. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to a very special edition of Franchise Interviews, where for over 16 years now, we've been asking the franchisepreneurs of one one. I'm your host, Marty McDermott. I'm the president of Franchise Interviews, and as we were saying earlier, we have a great show. Well, we're meeting with the Toodle Transport founder and president, Michelle Dacey, and Steve Greenbaum, board member and advisor, to talk more about the brand's important mission and their plans for growth. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Michelle. It's great to have you both on the show. Uh, you know, Michelle, I thought I would start with you, you know, because you were, you were kind of there at the beginning, weren't you? Maybe we could talk a little bit about the history of Toodle Transport and how the whole idea came about. So I have been in this industry, which is transportation people with mobility and cognitive challenges for well over 20 years. Mm. Um, I was working and running a business in this space. And then through personal experience with family and professional mm-hmm. experience, seeing what the market needed, I decided to go off and on my own, mm-hmm. open a transportation business in mm-hmm. the Chicago market. And we've been right. here about 11 years very and have fortunately met Steve and other partners yeah. who want to franchise the concept with 
is a great route so we can spread this nationwide and worldwide. I think it's a great service, Michelle. My um, my dad suffered from Parkinson's disease for years, and and he was he was a tall man. He was six foot one, and my mom is, is a very small lady. And and you know, towards the end, I mean, it was just it was impossible for her to to, to get him into the car, you know. But I mean, it was yeah. it was necessary because he had to you know go to the doctor's visits and things like that. So when I heard about the service, I you know I, I got really excited about it because I think it's so important. And, and Steve, you know. You're going to think I'm a little bit of a stalker because I know so much about your life. You know, I don't think I've ever even had the chance to speak to you. But you know, in the franchise world, I mean, you're you're really, I mean, you're you're a big deal. I thought you know maybe you could talk, Steve, about you know your background because maybe not all of our listeners may be aware of who you are. Sure, thank you, and thanks for the compliment. I appreciate it. Um, I, in my early 20s, founded a brand called PostNet mm-hmm. and had the good fortune to work very hard and. Um, in, over a period of about 27 years, um, developed um, 665 locations mm. in about a dozen countries around the world. Wow. Uh, also along that period of time, I had the opportunity to serve at the International Franchise Association. Yeah. I served as chair in 2008, and what that gave me was an opportunity to work very closely and get to know a lot of amazing entrepreneurs and mm-hmm. to grow as an executive myself. So right. um, I've had a, a fairly robust franchise career. I sold PostNet in 2017. Mm-hmm. And as I was considering what the next chapter looked like, I got recruited uh, to a private equity group mm-hmm. to build a multi-brand healthcare platform and um, did that for several years. And then again, looking at the next chapter, was really fortunate to have um, people like Michelle and others that came to Mm -hmm. me and said, gee, we'd love to franchise our business. We'd love to improve our franchise operations and organization. So I created a company called Full Contact Franchising Mm -hmm. and um, work with folks like, you know, Michelle and franchise founders and startups. I work with established brands and help them with strategy structure, profitability, um, growth and expansion, and um, this is this is what I love. This is where I live in the franchise right, world. Right, right. What was it? Because you have, or I imagine, Steve, just under assumption that I mean, you, you've had so, you have so many opportunities, um, you know, to work with with different franchises. You know, so there, there must have been something about Toodle that really you know caught your attention. What was it? You know, that that attracted you when when Michelle reached yeah. out to you. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of torn on that because I would say in large part it was Michelle and her husband Tom and their Mm -hmm. pure passion and joy for the business. And I'm sure Michelle can talk more about that, but it's not just, it's not just the transportation portion of it. There's an incredible opportunity to help enrich the lives of the people that serve. And Mm -hmm. Michelle will talk more about that because it's her passion. The other piece of it is the unit unit economics. It's just an incredibly robust business model. It's got low overhead. It's Mm -hmm. incredibly low investment level. It's low risk. You know, I come from the retail world, and our owners were signing long-term leases. They had equipment leases. They started in business with quite a bit of overhead, and, of course, they had to get out and hustle to hit break-even and then focus on ROI and a model like this with extremely mm-hmm. low overhead and right. very robust robust profit margins, it's you're doing great in the community, it's low risk mm-hmm. and um you know, when you're franchising, unit economics matter. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think that's a great response. And Michelle, maybe you know you could talk a little bit more about it. I mean, when you're meeting with, say, an aspiring franchise or someone you know who's interested in buying a franchise, or you were at a franchise show and someone came up to your booth and said, "Oh, uh, Tootle Transport. So, what do you guys do?" How do you typically respond to the question? We put a lot, and a lot of those hot buttons because one you're fulfilling what's needed in the community, which is, mm-hmm. is a very strong, and yes, we're very passionate about it. I might get choked up talking about yeah. it, um, sure. how we're assisting the community. Um, number two, the franchisees themselves, this is a wonderful way to make a living. My, yeah. my husband and I have done this, and it's a home-based business. We've raised our two children and built this company that's mm-hmm doing what's needed, taking people right. with, that are medically fragile from point A to point B. 
like you said, it's low overhead, low risk. Um, mm -hmm. So it's a lot of wins. Right, right. It's 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 a feel good business too, Michelle, isn't it? Like you said, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, in the addition to having a great business opportunity to make money, you know, low hole overhead and, and and things of that nature, but still, at the end of the day, it's a feel good business, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Maybe if we could talk about, you know, I'm sure, you know, because technology is one of those things, Michelle, that seems to move so quickly. Um, how are you using technology today, I guess, compared to like in the past, it was probably a lot different, but how are you using technology today? Yes, mission is what we are calling Toodle Go, mm -hmm. our customized software platform. Um, mm -hmm. Technology is moving forward, and I am definitely moving with it. I am crazy <laughs> excited for to will go because it is going to, we're in the testing phase right now, it's going to make things so much simpler. Um, right. I, and, you know, 20 years ago, I might have been using a pen and paper, but not <laughs> now. Right. right, right, exactly. It's, it's interesting. And, you know, when I think of the market, you know, and this is this for either Michelle or, or Steve, you know, I mean, people are, of course, getting older, you know, and um, I, I imagine, you know, I don't know what the numbers are, Michelle or Steve, but it, it, I guess it's safe to say this is a pretty big industry or, or the market is pretty big, isn't it, for the service? Yeah. 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 There's a lot of boomers it, booming right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's it's huge, and to be quite honest with you, this is about a. I, I guess I think we forecasted about an eight point six billion dollar industry back in twenty one. Mm -hmm. It's forecasted to double to double, double by mm -hmm. twenty 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 eight. Wow. In large in large yeah. part driven by the aging population, right? But it's also because this brand serves people of all abilities, mm -hmm. and people are looking for safe reliable, accessible, and available transportation that they're going to show up on time, take care of my loved one or my patient or um, my client. Right. And, right. Um, yeah. and the interesting thing about Toodle, just to sneak this in, mm -hmm. is it's door through door, not curb drop off. So they're oh, okay. picking up at the yeah, Palmer business deal. for the stuff. Exactly. Right. Yeah. No, that's, that, that, I, th I think that's very important. What's been... And this, is, and this is for Michelle, and I, I realize, Michelle, you've probably had hundreds of thousands of experiences, but what's been one of the most interesting things that's happened to you since launching Toodle for you and your husband? We're so happy in mm -hmm. what we've accomplished, um, starting the Chicago market, and then uh, meeting the team and the partners who mm -hmm. are just at the top of everything in the franchise yeah. industry, we know we know the non-emergency medical transportation, and they know franchising. And being able to see that this can go from, hey, just us taking care of Chicago land to now we launched a, a to a uh, corporate store in Milwaukee, it's perfect right. concept right in the middle of COVID and running it remotely from Chicago and doing it part time, and that was a success. So yeah, we are so. We know this is going to work. We know this is needed, and I'm just kind of bursting out of my skin to do this. I, I, no, I think it's I think it's wonderful, Michelle. And how, Michelle, did you know or your husband know? I guess at what time you know you were ready to franchise? Because again, you launched it in the beginning. I don't know if you had franchising in your mind in the beginning, or was it something that kind of came about a little later? It, it came about later as mm -hmm. I. Was, taken a walk during COVID. Um, actually, I myself had just, I had an accident and was in a wheelchair uh -huh. myself for right. three months, just learning to walk. And um, just, I, I connected with someone in the franchise industry mm -hmm. with whom I'm close. And we're just in the midst of a conversation. And all of a sudden, we're kind of like, wait a minute, we should be right. doing this together. We right. have a wonderful concept that uh, I know how to operate, and we can bring this to a lot of people in a lot of places. Right, so it was right. Just kind of, and then Steve came in, and it just kind of evolved. I think it's it's wonderful. And, you know, it, and to have such a strong team of advisors, Michelle, you know, I mean, you have, you have Steve. Um, I, I think it was Brad Fishman is, is on the team, Deborah Vilches, Jeff Matthews. I mean, these are, for me, I mean, these, these are big names in, in, in franchising, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there's, 
it, it, it's a very clever, you know what I mean, to, to, to work with people like Steve, as you were saying. You know, I, I, I think that's, that's very important um, because of Steve's experience and Brad's and Deborah's and Jeff's. So I, I think that's wonderful. Maybe we could talk a little bit about franchising. And again, a question could be for Michelle or Steve, but, you know, what types of characteristics do you look for or maybe even better is do you want in your franchisees, Michelle or Steve? Michelle, pause, so I'll take it, and she can jump in. <laughs> um, you, <laughs> you know, sometimes you feel like when this question is answered, it's fairly standard because, right, like right. everybody else, we're looking for people that are, you know, team players, and they sure. want to be a part of an organization and follow a system. And so you hear a lot of road right. stuff. Yes, yes. Um, but, yeah, so I want to, I want to qualify that. However, yeah. What's interesting about this model is the, the, the real marketing happens in the community. So, I, so I, like a lot of senior care businesses or businesses mm -hmm. where you're dealing with referral sources, it's all about relationship building in the community. It's um, actually great franchisees will either be people with personality and the confidence mm -hmm. um, right. and the willingness to go out in the community and do that, and also – people that are already connected to those communities. So anyone right. in senior care now, anyone that's serving in health care, mm -hmm. uh, drug reps, you know, people that right. work with the same type of referral sources that we do. So interestingly enough, there's just a huge opportunity for people that can add this on mm -hmm. to their existing right. franchise or independent business and right. be working with and meeting with the same um, people in the community. Other, other than that, you know, organizational skills um, mm -hmm. are, are important because of the timing and the scheduling, although we do have a software right. platform. platform. Um, but uh, th this has just got so much horsepower in terms of uh, building into a pre-existing network for anyone in senior right. care in the medical industry in general. Yeah, I, I I think so too, Steve. And how so? How does the how would the training work for um, a, a new franchisee, Michelle? Then would they come out to like a corporate headquarters or something like that? How would that work? Yeah, so we've got everything organized for them. Once paperwork is signed and we're ready to go, mm -hmm. operations manual, uh, mm -hmm. checklist of things to do to get ready, and then right. they will come out by us for several days. So we can do everything from teaching them hands-on about software and marketing to actually going in the vehicle uh, with drivers out on the road and experiencing it from all positions mm -hmm. and going out into the community and seeing how we market. So yeah. you've been doing – oh, go ahead, Steve. No, forgive me. I was just going to give you a little bit more specifics, which would be okay. four to five days of training in Northbrook, Illinois, which is where okay. we're, um, out, where Toodle's home office is. And okay, then there'll good. be three to four days of on-site training. And okay, during good. that on-site training, we're also supporting the franchisee with local driver selection and helping wow. them make sure that they're ready to start taking clients. Right. Yeah, that's I mean, right because that that that's so important. And Michelle, because you've been doing this, you know, such a long time now. I mean, I guess you, you, you could describe maybe and again, not that there's such a every day is a typical day. I'm sure every day is a little bit different. But you know, Steve was mentioning that you know organizational skills, of course, are are, are very important. But how would you paint the picture of like maybe a typical day for a total transport franchisee? Yeah, you definitely have to be organized. You can't mm -hmm. take someone to their appointment, you know, eh, sometime in the morning. Right. It's a 10 o'clock <laughs> appointment. You, you, right, you, you right. have to be there. A typical day is going to consist of uh, answering the phone with questions or status checks on ride or inquiries from family members, inquiries from people needing ride, in, inquiries from corporate clients. Mm -hmm. if they're going to come by email also. They might come through right. the website. Right. Um, so you're, you're you're juggling managing the daily operations of people getting from point A to point B, plus future business, plus doing uh, here's my technical savvy doing stuff in the computer to get everything mm -hmm. organized. Sure. And some marks, throwing some marketing, some bookkeeping, some unusual situations. Mm -hmm. uh, lady called me uh, <laughs> recently and said, Michelle. Can you check with the driver and see if I left my leg in the vehicle? 
Oh, so there no. was an, it, it was her prosthetic leg. She was right, laughing right. So hard. Yeah. So, you know, unusual situations pop up right. but every day. You can't exactly plan for that. <laughs> right, uh, right. So, That's what I say. So, every day is a little different, isn't it? As well as it's structured, Michelle, isn't it? But I'm sure every day the experiences are a little bit different, aren't they? Absolutely. Yep. And then you're planning for the next day. Steve, I, I, I'm going to give you the next question because when I have someone like yourself, you know, who's been doing this such a long time, um, the, the majority of our listeners, we call them aspiring franchipreneurs. You know, most of them, they're kind of new to franchising, you know, so, so and, and they're a little bit overwhelmed in the beginning because there's so much out there today. I mean, from everything you've learned up to this point, what advice would you give to our listeners in their quest to buy a franchise? Yeah, I think it's important to learn as much as you can about franchising in general. There's a lot of great content online. Mm-hmm. The International Franchise Association is probably mm-hmm. the best resource in the world. Right. Right. Um, so um, bestfranchise.org for mm-hmm. the URL. And so I believe homework and education and then going to some of the IFA events and getting involved yeah. in the industry of franchising. The other thing I would say is, There are a lot of organizations out there that do a great job of getting people into business as a franchisor. Mm -hmm. And the issue is once you get there, you're like, okay, I'm a franchisor, now what? (laughs) And so my, my very powerful advice is have a plan that goes beyond, okay, we're a franchisee, we've got an FDD, we've got an operations manual, Mm -hmm. let's Mm -hmm. go. Because there are capital requirements, there are operational needs, you know, when you go from one to three to five to ten franchisees, what's the plan? How are you going to capitalize right. it? How are you going to handle the labor? So right. it's, it's this franchising is a huge responsibility mm-hmm. because you're being entrusted by other people, often right. investing their life savings. Right. And so just, you know, my advice is be educated, mm-hmm. be forward thinking, and Choose wisely when you invest right. in franchising because it's long term. Yeah, no, I, 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 I think that's great advice, Steve. So, last question again, it could be for Michelle or Steve. Uh, what are if, if you could look into a crystal ball, whether that crystal ball was one year, three years, or five years? You, you've kind of hinted at, at some of uh, some some of the goals, but what, what are Total Transport's plans for the future? I think Michelle is going to let me lead here, and then she can okay. jump yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's. It's interesting. We, we're really focused on quality right now. So the short-term plan is to grant franchises in the right territories with the right owners, mm-hmm. um, you know, really build the right foundation for the brand. And we both know, Marty, that you can't build a brand without having, you know, signs on buildings, vehicles on the street, right. or being, being out there in the community. And that's why people choose right. franchising for scale. Sure. So right. so the idea is to achieve a certain level of growth. We really haven't um, today decided, you know, what world domination for Tootle looks like. Mm-hmm. Right. But we believe, yeah, but we believe that, you know, three to 500 territories throughout the United States will give us an incredible platform from which to either add on additional services and opportunities, um, expand the business, and or to start thinking about going overseas. I think that's wonderful. Yeah, and I I mentioned to both of you, Michelle and Steve, I've done so many of these interviews. I mean, I think I'm on like 850, you know, and and, and when when I heard about Poodle, you know, I just got really excited about it because I said, wow, what a great service. What's the best way, and and Michelle, this one will be for you, is for our listeners to get more information on Poodle, of course, as the service, but even the franchise opportunity. Are there any, like, websites you can kind of direct them to? Yes, please. Uh, Go to ridetoodle.com and I'll spell that R-I-D-E T-O-O-T-L dot com Okay, perfect. And I'm sure they can get franchise information there and information on the service, which is, is, is fantastic. And I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed talking to you, Michelle. I love the service. And, and Steve, again, it was an honor to talk to you. I think this was my first time talking to you. Again, I feel like I've been following you forever. So it was a privilege for me to talk to you. Thank you. Thank Our you privilege as well. Time. Thanks for Thank you. This has been my pleasure. We'll be right back with more franchise interviews. Coming up in our next segment, we'll be playing a clip from our Great Quotes and Franchising podcast right here on Franchise Interviews. 
franchisers, are you looking to reach aspiring entrepreneurs looking to buy a franchise? Are you looking to reach a highly educated audience on franchising? Franchise Interviews, an up-close, behind-the-scenes look at franchising and entrepreneurship through our website, FranchiseInterviews.com, where you can hear and read interviews as well as get tips from some of the most successful sources in franchising. Our weekly franchise radio show where each week you get to hear a new interview with franchisers, franchisees, franchise authors, franchise experts, and attorneys, and our podcast, Great Quotes in Franchising. For more information, go to FranchiseInterviews.com or call us at 610-905-2919. That's 610-905-2919. Hi. Today's great quote in franchising is being brought to you by Franchise Teacher. Would you like to know how to franchise your concept or grow your franchise business? Meet the experts at Franchise Teacher. The goal of Franchise Teacher is to teach, coach, consult, and advise. The team of experts at Franchise Teacher will evaluate your business model and present you with a winning business strategy. Franchise Teacher will help you decide whether or not your concept works and if it's franchisable. Franchise Teacher is proud to have over 30 years of experience in franchising as both franchisees and franchisors. Franchise Teacher are developers of over a dozen franchise systems which include brick and mortar as well as home-based concepts of nearly 3,000 combined franchise locations. Whether you need to add more units or get more customers, Franchise Teacher can help. We will teach. Franchise Teacher will help you learn our proven system. Coach. Franchise Teacher will help you provide a game plan to succeed. Consult. Franchise Teacher will make sure you stay on track. And advise. Franchise Teacher will help you learn from our over 30 years of experience in franchising as both franchisees and franchisors. Take advantage of our free, no-obligation phone consultation. Simply go to FranchiseTeacher.com or call us at 561-385-3032. That's FranchiseTeacher.com or call us at 561-385-3032. Hi everyone, this is Marty McDermott, the President of Franchise Interviews, and welcome to another edition of Great Quotes in Franchising, where each podcast you get to hear a great quote in franchising. You know, we've been hosting franchise interviews many years now, and during that time we've had some incredible quotes on our show. One of the questions we frequently ask on our show is, what advice would you give to a listener in buying a franchise? And today's great quote in franchising comes from the founder of Creative, Jaya Ayer. And Creative is the experiential art destination that looks to entertain, educate, and inspire. And Jaya gave some really great advice. She kind of starts off, she talks about a lot of different things, but one of the concepts is knowing your why. I think for someone who says, okay, I want to buy a franchise, but you know, there's so much out there. From, from everything you've learned up to this point, what advice would you give to our listeners then in their quest to buy a franchise? I think as a business, as someone who wants to start a business, the first thing that you have to identify is your why. Why are you wanting mm, to do this? Right. And that's kind of what would drive the direction or the businesses that you want to look into. Uh, what is yes. your passion? What are your goals as far as starting being a business owner? Of course, we, we want to mm-hmm. make money and we want to fulfill uh, our responsibilities and financial commitments. That's one part of it. But to do it on a day-to-day basis, there has to be something more than that, that you have yes. to be connected to that idea, to that concept, and love to be in that environment. So those right. are some of the things that the person has to do as their homework. Uh, mm-hmm. Now, next part, as you said, there are so many different options out there. Uh, And a lot of times people think that an established brand might provide them more support than an upcoming or an emerging Mm -hmm. franchise brand. Mm -hmm. But what I say is that's not what someone should look at. They should really look at is this brand positioned for growth because you're not buying into it today. You're buying into it for the long term. So if the market's oversaturated, if you have too many uh, similar concepts that are competing with you, if there's no uniqueness to the business, then you're really not positioning yourself for growth. Um, so right. those are some of the aspects that everybody should kind of seriously consider 
Uh, it just doesn't matter how many locations they have. Do they have the support system? What's unique about them? What are some of the business ideas? Would they kind of take feedback? So it's all of that mm-hmm. that you need to kind of understand um, and evaluate when you determine what's the right fit for you. So uh, as the founder of the company, I mean... Franchise interviews from Easton, Pennsylvania to Sydney, Australia. You're listening to Franchise Interviews. Franchise Interviews.